Hello everybody, welcome back to Hitman, and uh, I switched versions to the PS4 version because the PC version was giving me so much trouble. So uh, this is technically a fresh file, but it doesn't really matter for Hokkaido for uh, reasons that we'll get to very shortly. Um, Hokkaido is the final mission of Season 1, and yes, this is a spoiler if you haven't done Season or anything else, but... The board has said Technically, I have. But really, why why haven't you if you've been following the selfie? Yeah, exactly. He has been fast tracked for critical heart surgery. At the anyway, right there, there's your big spoiler. Eric Soders is the target. Japan. Such a display of you know that guy who tried to screw us over for our entrance exam. Yeah. Soders, who suffers from a rare condition known as situs inversus, where his internal organs are reversed, desperately needs a right-sided heart transplant, and has clearly betrayed the ICA to get it. He was admitted last night and is currently being prepped for a three-day surgery. We have booked you into Gamma under the usual guise of Tobias Reaper, corporate shark, here for a standard medical checkup. As such, you will need to play it by ear and procure whatever tools... I will say, though, that the switch to the PS4 version means I can't get any of my elusive target outfits for the PS4 version, because, you know, they're not unlocked and there's no more elusive targets for Season 1, so I'm a little sad about that. Yeah, like I said way back when, I, I really hope they, like, allow that to be an unlock later on. Yeah, it would be nice. Sodas must pay for but, his oh well. and his insidious employers must be taught a lesson. ICA's sovereignty is at stake. Powerful as Providence may be, we need to draw a line in the sand. I will leave you to prepare. Okay, so this is a highly secure medical facility, and as such, uh, we're not allowed to bring any equipment with us. We're allowed to smuggle in one thing, but... I'm going to... I'm not going to do that, because I don't have anything to smuggle on this file. Well, I mean, Except you could, for some co yeah, coins. I guess I could take some coins. Fiber yeah, wire. maybe... Maybe I should have taken some coins, actually. Lockpick. Lockpick would have been good. Well, actually, I don't, not really, because everything is by keycard. Yeah, yeah, that's a thing we'll get to in a bit. But do I... Don't I need to unlock the lockpick? Uh, you know what? I can't remember. The AI if you do, it's probably on, like, the first level or something. Uh, actually, it doesn't seem to be a, an unlock in Paris, so probably not. Well, can't remember that. I, I always assumed it was unlocked from the start. I can't remember. Yeah, but you had a new file. <laughs> Got no excuse. Yes, but I didn't... I didn't actually look at my actual equipment. Like, I, I just went straight into this after I went through the tutorial. Yeah, no breaching anyway. charges for you today. No, that's okay. You can't cheese the shit out of this mission. As part of the service here at Gamma, your room has been outfitted with a radio... Okay. So, the way doors work in, or locked doors work in this map is a little special. Uh, locked, or, um, outfits ha all have, like, RFID chips. So, outfits are your key cards here. Truly, this is the most Metal Gear of, of episodes. Oh, yeah, it is basically like having PAL cards, isn't it? <laughs> Except, you know, your PAL cards are bound to whatever you're wearing. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a disguise that we can actually get move around in. So I'm gonna take the security guard disguise. Yes, game. Thank you for telling me about inca incapacitation. I'm pretty sure I inca incapacitated someone doing the tutorial. I like how you can drag people and the dragged person will open doors. Yeah, that's a really nice detail. Um. I will probably make use of that at at least one point of this uh, of this map. I went to go get the gun, but that was a mistake because this guy came back and uh, he knows he has the knowledge. Yeah, it reminds me of uh, another playthrough that was showcased not too long ago. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna go behind him instead of uh, right in front of him. I would have still knocked him out. Yeah, I'm, I'm just playing it safe and quick. Uh, 
there is a hot spring over there, but we don't want to go there. At least not for this run. Go man the side. Can you keep a secret? Shut up. Um, we want to go to the other side of the, here, but there's a guard just kind of watching the walkway, so we can't go above ground. The smart thing to do would have been to go underground and, or like go down the stairs and around, but I decided to go through the garden for some reason. Also, I have no idea why, but the game audio just got really soft for this section. I'm disappointed that uh, you didn't go next to that NPC that was on his phone. We'll get to that. That's a that that could be its own thing. <laughs> so we want to go past the guard guarding this door, but uh, he's also, you know, doing his job. Um, Freaking jerks. So uh, this seems like a good time to use the fire extinguisher. It made absolutely no noise. Shots run like crazy. Seriously, I have no idea what happened to the audio here. If I go into the inventory, it's fine now. Whoa. The garden was so zen, it killed all audio. Amazing. Very strange. Amazing. Anyway, here we are at the restaurant. Um, here's a little sushi bar. This will be important open, sir. in like, I don't know, two, three minutes. That's the guard we just distracted. So we want to go this way to the, this is an employees only area. And we'll just duck into this hallway here. Uh, there's a morgue down that way. That's going to be important later. And here's a bunch of sleeping quarters. Everybody has like a little tiny like pod they sleep in. Yeah, it's very deus ex-ish. Yeah, it makes me think of, like, Space Age stuff. And over here, we got people playing DDR. We're going to activate Expert Mode. But unfortunately, 47 cannot play with people around. Oh, what? Super lame. Yeah, we'll have to come back later. And uh, maybe do something about these guys on another run. You set the difficulty higher? Bastard, I can't compete with that. This map has a lot of silly Easter eggs. Well, like, more than usual, I feel like. <laughs> anyway, that's enough of that. Um, moving right along. If we just uh, keep going past the uh, these two sleeping quarters, well, we're going to end up in the canteen. And, uh, That's a little harsh. these two guys here are going to have a little conversation that we want to pay attention to. Famous one, that. Still, it's not the chef's fault. What was a kitchen apprentice thinking, cutting out a fugu fish by himself unsupervised? I mean, it takes years of practice. Didn't the kid realize how poisonous those things are? Uh, yeah, he's a kid. I mean, he won't probably wanted to show off. I don't know. But, you know, I didn't actually think fugu was, like... Lethally poisoned. I yeah. thought it was just um. That was his I thought it was just like food poisoning poison, not like. <laughs> yeah, no, that's. <laughs> it'll kill you dead. It's a damn shame too. Chef had to refuse. Hmm. I, I vaguely remember having a conversation in another LP about who discovered food was a good idea to eat and how do you discover that like. How to how to cook it properly? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. These, yeah I think it was Faye you were talking about about that. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I can't remember what LP it was. It might have been near. Actually, yeah, it was near. Go anyway, watch your near LP. People. <laughs> anyway, there is one fugu fish over in the kitchen. Let's go get it. Uh, I have the worst timing. Apparently, and I keep running into areas when people keep looking my way. This is why you just murder everybody in the area and you get nobody to spot you. Yeah, but then my score at the end goes way down. <laughs> yeah, nobody cares about scores. I care. Anyway, we here's the fugu fish, but I forgot I needed to get a knife for that uh, before we could actually cut out the poison. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, let's go take that.
I was looking for a can of soda, but I didn't pick it up on uh, this load, so that's okay. Got no, 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 Doctor Fizz. No, I don't. Okay, so as usual, we need to be some kind of like kitchen staff if we want to uh, poison food. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm gonna use this kitchen knife as my distraction. Any second now. Hey. I don't know why 47 got off the wall. He doesn't usually do that, but... Yeah, kind of weird. Whatever. I gotta we blame, can be a chef now. I gotta blame console physics. <laughs> I mean, it runs a lot smoother than when I on my machine, but that might also be because I have kind of a... Low... I have a GTX 770 or 760, and that might be a little too low end now. Yeah, yeah, that's getting on outdated almost it was really good like two years ago when i got it yeah but two years is a long time and i guess the current hotness is like what the 1060 yeah it's like 1060 1070 actually they might have 1080s now i think i think they have 1080s now hey, no. oh i know they have 1080s yeah. but I'm, I'm looking for the one that's it, comparable no, anyway no. yuki yamazaki's uh route will eventually take her to the the sushi restaurant where she will ask for fugu and i was very upset when i first got to this because i thought i missed her cycle so so she's just gonna go hang out over at the um in that table for a couple of minutes or more like a minute and then she's just gonna come right back and i was a lot happier when i realized she came back yeah basically that table is like the end of her route and then she just repeats what she does in reverse Fugal roll, please. I assure you, my lips are sealed. Pardon me? You should really try the sushi. It's to die for. Is this fugu? I knew you would come around eventually. Good for you. I hope you like it. My colleague is a straight arrow. Me, I say it's good to live dangerously. You took the words right out of my mouth. Mmm, yes, mmm. That's exactly right. Smooth, velvet softness. Absolutely delicious. My compliments to the chef. I bet 47 actually could serve, like, a properly, like, cut piece of fugu. Probably. Like, what can't he do? <laughs> what? Oh, oh yeah, I now. had you tied in your arms tonight. It must have been food fish. <laughs> okay, she's dead, so now we got to move on to Eric Soders, who's gonna be a little more of a challenge, because he's on a he's on an operating bed right now, so uh, all eyes are on him. I say it's gonna be more of a challenge, but it's actually not too hard taking care of. Uh, soders, if you know what you're doing. Yeah, but the way that uh, you showed off last time, it's kind of kind of easy, actually. Easier yeah, than so... easier than Yuki, anyways. Yeah, no, Soders is actually the easy guy to take out if you're just like going for pure speed. Mm. Um. Anyway, first off, we're going back out to this walkway, and we're gonna go into this little room here. Uh. There's just a sleeping security guard, and uh, we're gonna make sure he stays asleep. <laughs> we're gonna give him a nice little room inside of his room, I guess. There's a pill stash over there. That'll be important in a little bit. For now, though, we just need to go run upstairs. I forget what I was doing there, but, uh... Uh, I'm gonna say checking for v visitors. Yeah, probably. But yeah, just up the stairs is a helipad. Um, over behind those bodyguards is the, um, the actual facility, and you can see Eric Soders there on instinct mode. And on the other side, we have a pilot and the chief surgeon. I have intel regarding the pilot. We just need a second here. I think I might have messed up the conversation because I got too close, but I don't know how close you can get. 
The chief surgeon, Nicholas Laurent, seems to have frequent rendezvous with a helicopter pilot near the remote personnel exit. And rumor has it that the chief surgeon suffers from trembling hands. So, yeah, I waited for about a minute and nothing happened. So we're just going to go down here and uh, we're going to bring one of them down. It's particularly funny when, like, when playing the level because... The surgeon basically goes back to him every like two minutes. It's like, yeah, it's like man, your it, pills it, either suck or Buddy's got a <laughs> an immunity that would destroy the known world. It could be both, actually. <laughs> but yeah, like if uh if you just let the conversation play out normally, the pilot will only give him like one pill at a time, and the doctor really, really wants his pills. So, uh, one thing we could do is just take the pilot, or become the pilot, and, uh, bring the surgeon here and just let him have at the stash. Uh, but we'll do that another time. For now, uh, what? we're just gonna, we're gonna be the surgeon. I think Buddy's been in his own stash. What? Dude. I'm, I mean, it's his stash. I'd be surprised if he didn't get into it. <laughs> now we are the pilot. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Oh, wait. No, no, wrong vehicle, wrong vehicle! <laughs> so, now we just gotta wait for the surgeon to come back. Um, I think... I checked when I was editing this, and it took about a minute for the surgeon to come back. Sounds about right. He doesn't have a lot yeah. of that. Yeah, no, the uh, operating theater is just past there. It's not too far. Damn. Need another pill. The effect is waning. This way, Doc. I'll show you where my stash is. As the voice echoes out. <laughs> Doc, I might have a problem. 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 It's the future of medicine. It's what will truly make us gods if only our politicians could get out of their knuckles. I don't know if politics has, um, is the only thing, like, stopping this whole thing. I don't know how comfortable I am with, uh, like, people becoming as gods, I guess. Here we go. <laughs> Help but that's another debate. We're just gonna become a doctor now. Well done for I'm more comfortable with that. With no, no. First you become the politician, then the doctor. <laughs> Is there a politician disguise in here? <laughs> uh, oh, I don't think so. Pretty sure there is. Not in this map. Unless, unless one of the uh, like people being worked on, or just happens to be, you know, special. Yeah. Anyway, I decided to go back and drop my weapons because you need you're gonna get frisked when you if you try to go back through there. But I forgot that there one of the guards there is an enforcer, so uh maybe let's not go that way. Oh, I'm surprised you didn't take the snow route. Oh yeah, I guess I could have done that. Uh no, the way I chose to go was um through like the this little walkway again. Yeah. We're going to actually go into the morgue now. Uh, just up here is the main floor of the morgue. There, These two guys are looking at that cadaver. Man. If we go over to the left, we'll eventually find the, uh, the recording thing, and we can disable the recordings. I completely forgot to when I recorded this, but oh well. You know, it, I'll show it off next time. It's it's really weird when you're sleeping below the corpses. A little bit. Anyway, that's the operating theater. We just need to cause a distraction so we can actually get through there. So uh, let's drain the, the stem cell pump. Warning. Stem cell treatment discontinued. That'll get that lady's attention on to Eric Soders and not on us. So we're just gonna kite all the way around and just make our way into the operating theater. Or the surgery control room, rather. Just make sure none of the suspicious guards are looking at you, and once you've made it into here, you're you're clear. Yes, game, thank you. 
Okay, so there's three things we could do. We could drain blood, we can inject medicine, or we can control the arms. We can't really do... We can't extract blood, and we can't really inject the syringe at the, this moment. So let's activate the arms. And now the medicine. And, uh... You know, with, with so many gaping chest wounds, I'm surprised he's even, like, awake. Yeah, I am too. Also, I, I always feel really uncomfortable just watching that one. Yeah, yeah. Probably put a warning. Being like, there's some pretty graphic stuff in this one. Yeah. I don't know how I didn't get caught there. <laughs> nah, it's okay. Anyway, uh... That's where this is where we would have ended up if like we we went behind the guards, but we couldn't, so we had to take the long way around. And it, that also explains why the the, the chief surgeon's path was so short. Yeah, compared to one or two other people. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the helicopter is an escape route. It's just kind of a pain in the ass to get to it as the doctor. So we're gonna go take this one instead. Down here at the base of this snowy mountain there's a couple of atvs or snowmobiles whatever snowmobiles atvs or something else entirely <laughs> <laughs> i mean it'd be sick if they were atvs or maybe atvs with skis on on the wheels <laughs> but yeah the atv or fuck the snowmobiles <laughs> are the are my usual escape route because they're so they're, they're just right next to like the the quick the easy kills. Yeah. And yeah, that's that for Hokkaido. A long time coming, but we only just started playing this game. That's not what my ticket says. I don't know if it's just me or not, but the cutscene frame rate seems to be a little choppy on PS4. Honestly. Oh no, I sacked the poor guy. Maybe a little bit. I didn't catch your name. No, you didn't. There'll be no retaliation, not for Soders, nor any other recent fiascos. Someone's been meddling in our affairs, killing our operatives, and making the ICE look like fools. I think you got close to that someone closer than we've ever been that's why we're hiring you to take him down i don't think so don't rattle our cages miss burnwood you really have no idea you spy on us bribe our people and you have the gall to demand our help no you can't be trusted even so, we've been around for a long, long time. I think we could help each other. Some 20 years ago, your agency took in a young man with no past and extraordinary skills. In his own special way, he cares about you, and vice versa. And ever since that time, you've never stopped wondering where he came from and who made him what he is. There was a doctor, some depraved experiment, but he's gone now. Ah. Well, if you believe the questions died with him, we have nothing further to discuss. If not, as I said, I think we could help each other. Partners, then. Cheer up, Miss Burnwood. We, <laughs> we are the lesser evil. This terrorist. He wants nothing but chaos. 
He's only a terrorist if you win. Miss Birdwood, we won a long time ago. This, <laughs> this is maintenance. weird that they have a photo of professor x when he was a kid <laughs> just a little bit <laughs> is it weird oh, yeah. that um you know that it's a it's a piece of trivia not many people know but um this game is actually supposed to lead into the hitman movie that was created that was the most recent one in like 2015 wait is it really no is it really <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, I was about to say, I didn't think they were actually going to acknowledge that. <laughs> Nobody wants to acknowledge that movie. God, it sucked. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Credits roll. That's it for season one of Hitman. I mean, we're, we're still, we still have more of Hokkaido to show off, and then like there's the bonus missions. But in terms of plot, that's it. Here are the credits. I They are going at a 300% speed. Eh, some, something like that. I personally really like the cutscenes. Um, for a game that, like... I, I never really paid attention to the story of Hitman. And this is the one game where, like, I really enjoyed playing it. And it was pretty much the first one I was, like, heavily invested in to, and to try and play from start to finish. And I think they knocked it out of the park, to be honest. Yeah, like, this is also my, well, this is my first Hitman game in general. Eh, production babies? Kids aren't? What? Um, yeah, production babies. Wait. Babies that have been born during development of the game. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like, this is a great game. Like, I, I, uh, I'm gonna be honest, like, what caught my attention about this at first was uh, the the Game Maker's Toolkit video on how Hitman uses repetition to teach you how to be a better Hitman. Mm, yeah. And I thought it was, like, great, and I wanted to try it for myself. So I kind of just... I kind of just picked it up on the Steam Christmas sale, and uh, here we are now. The thing about repetition is also, I think, very well implemented with the contracts. We You haven't really shown them off. Um, but contracts, generally speaking, will have like five levels to them, and each level. No, you're no, no. You're talking about escalations. Oh right, escalations. So like, anyways, uh, escalations have five levels to them, and each level, well, as the name implies, escalates it. So you might have a, the first one might just be like kill this one guy and then leave. So first level is pretty simple. You kind of learn, you know, how the map is set up, patrols, that sort of thing. Then the second level will be like kill this person in a specific suit so okay now you gotta find the suit you gotta go learn the patterns again or at least use the patterns that you learned from the last time so on then i'll be like kill this guy in this suit with this weapon so you do that and then the next one might be like a time limit and then there might be like special conditions so it's all of the escalations are are different in their own way and i think it's Gameplay or learning through repetition and still being fresh, I think is like perfectly exemplified by that. Yeah. Like I don't I'm gonna be honest, I don't really care too much about escalations. But I do kind of appreciate the idea behind them. Mm. Even if I do think like five levels is a bit much. I mean for some of the I think the the main issue is like you could drop that down to four easily because like the first one's usually just kill the guy like what it, like you're gonna do that anyways there's no reason i don't to... i don't know honestly i think three is probably a better sweet spot than four uh, he... i think the problem with three is that you can you can miss out on making like some very complex ones that really challenge people without it without it being too much of a spike you know yeah either way also, also, uh, while while the credits are still are like wrapping up, I just wanted to mention that uh, 
the song is I used is um it's the Jordan Cross song All Were Stars or something. Yeah. Um good song. You can get that for you can get that for free on the class's bandcamp. Cuz you know, they have that. Yeah, it's really good too. Yeah, it's actually not bad. I'm not really into indie rock, but yeah. Um and here's the unlocks. I they changed the professional mode unlock from level 20 to level 5, which is kind of cool. And yeah, we'll see you next time for more Hokkaido.